Hello my friend, if you know AWS and you don't know DevOps, then think again. DevOps is an integral part of AWS. So knowing the DevOps questions is very important. Today I am going to share you top 5 AWS DevOps interview questions. By the end of this video, even if you are new to AWS or DevOps, still you will master all of them. Because like this, I will explain step by step with the help of the diagrams. And then you can easily explain these concepts in your interviews or anywhere. Remember, just learning AWS is not enough. You must be able to crack interviews and go to the next level. Otherwise, what is the point of learning and working hard, right? So without wasting time, let's start with the first question. What is DevOps? Let's understand with the help of a simple diagram. In DevOps, this is the diagram. In DevOps, Dev stands for development. Here, developers first plan, then write code, then build the code, and then unit test or test the code. Okay, finally release the application. Now comes the Ops, which stands for operations. Here, the released applications, which is a common step between dev, uh, dev and ops. So released application after deployed, okay, in different environments like staging, production, QA. So then it is operated and monitored. Means monitored means managed after deploying application to production. You have to keep an eye on your production application support, production support. Okay, that is ops. So this is the basic DevOps cycle and you already know multiple teams are involved in this process. Developers, testers, operations. Operations means you can say the IT teams work together on this. Now to make whole this DevOps process more simpler and faster in AWS, you can use a set of tools provided by AWS, which I will explain in the upcoming question. But now you have the basic idea. Here is the final definition. DevOps is a way of working where developers and operations teams work together to build, test and release software faster and more reliably using CI and CD. So you can deploy application without DevOps, but with DevOps, it is faster. Okay. Now, what is CI and CD? It's very, very important. And that I will explain you in the upcoming question. What is a CI CD pipeline in AWS? How you have used in your project? Now, if you have some experience as a developer, then you already know these steps involved in creating an application. First, you plan, then code, build, test, release, deploy, and then finally operate or monitor the application in production. So that is the normal application lifecycle. Now, what is CI? CI means continuous integration. It simply means let's say you are a developer and you write some code for a new feature you push your code to some shared place like github or aws code commit so at the same time your teammates are also writing and pushing their code right so here comes this this integration process continuous integration as soon as you push the code an automatic process start which is by a, a tool called uh, AWS code build. First, it will check whether your code will build properly. No compile time error. When build is successful, this build point. When build is successful, it automatically runs the unit tests. Okay. If it passes all the tests, then only your code will be accepted and added to the main branch of your project okay so that is the continuous integration because you are continuously pushing a code every day to the main branch okay so that process is automatic that is why that's why its name is continuous integration you also keep working on new items in parallel and continuously pushing the code for integration right and yes as i said if there is any build error or any test will fail 
first you have to fix those and then only your code will be merged to the main branch now second point comes cd what is continuous deployment it means the code from the main git branch is automatically deployed to different different environments like dev qa or staging using a tool uh, like aws code deploy or aws code pipeline okay so it's like this so come the continuous code is coming you are pushing the code and that pushed code is released deploy operate again and again again and again in a cycle like this that's why its name is continuous continuous deployment because from the source code code is continuously deployed by the infra or devops team in the production or qa servers whatever servers and of course before pushing to production you can add manual approvals from the qa team manager or other uh, ga uh, gates in the pipeline in short ci cd pipeline in aws helps to automate your entire project flow like this from coding in development to production making everything faster and smoother and simpler okay that's the answer to this question and finally here is the definition a ci cd pipeline is an automated process used by developers and devops teams to build test and deploy code quickly and reliably now you will ask what are the tools used by aws team to perform these steps of ci cd pipelines and that i will cover in upcoming question before moving forward ask yourself just one thing what is the point of learning AWS if you can't crack the AWS interviews? That's why I have created a complete AWS interview preparation bootcamp for you with three powerful tools. Number three, 200 plus AWS interview questions from all the topics step by step. Even if you are AWS beginner, still you can learn everything here. Also, the real scenario based questions are covered. Then in this smart excel, you can mark questions prepared or not prepared and therefore you can track your interview preparation progress like this. Second tool is this PDF book for quick revision just before your AWS interviews. And first tool is 10 AWS mock interviews to help you practice just like the real interviews. Many students have already cracked interviews with my courses. You can be the next. Remember, just one missed question can lead to interview rejection. Why take the chance then? Check out all the links in the description. If interested, great. If not, no worries. Let's move to the next question. What are the key components of the AWS DevOps toolchain? Now let's explore the tools you can use in AWS to manage your application DevOps lifecycle. Here are the seven DevOps stages, which I already explained in the previous questions. Now for each stage, we will have some tools in AWS to execute them. First is the application planning phase or project planning stage. For that, AWS does not have any own planning tool. Okay. So, People normally use Jira, which is very popular, or Trello, or some other project planning tool. Okay, no AWS tool for it. Once planning is done, developers write code. And for that, you have the AWS code commit tool, which is a Git based service to safely store and manage your code to source code. Okay, so that is a source code management tool. Next, you have the build phase. For build phase, you have the AWS code build tool, which will compile, test and package the code. Okay, and prepare the application for the deployment. After that, you have the testing phase. For that, you can use the again the code build. It will also do the code uh, testing with the help of code pipeline. Okay, then comes the release step. That is the main step from where your code deployment will start. Here, AWS code pipeline helps you automate the entire flow of the release in the DevOps lifecycle. You do not have to go and 
press buttons and manually do things code pipeline will automatically deploy your code to the uh, different different uat qa staging environments okay next to put your application to servers on the cloud you can use code deploy tool okay it will deploy your app to ec2 instances lambda functions from your system to those uh, aws uh, instances okay with zero time zone downtime zero downtime means it will be very fast okay from uat to production it will be a microseconds the application will be moved to uat to production finally after the deployment in production when your application is live in production you need to monitor and operate and manage your app for production support for that we have amazon cloudwatch x-ray system managers for monitoring logging and incident handling it's a long long process so there are many many tools for this process okay so these are the main tools which developers and devops teams use to manage their application and now you have the idea of everything okay what is the difference between devops and aws devops you already know the answer right pause think and let me show you the answer here that is devops is a culture okay devops is a practice devops is a very generic thing aws devops is how aws will provide you tools to do the devops thing all right so same thing is written here devops is a practice applies these practice using aws code pipeline code build cloud formation these are the tools provided by aws which will help you in performing the devops task how would you automate the deployment after every code commit so code commit fetch aws tool okay pause thank done so here is the answer code pipeline so code pipeline with code commit code pipeline is the most important tool out of all the tools that's what i think other tools are also important but this is very much used so because it can detect a code push to code commit trigger code build to build it and then code deploy to deploy it okay great job my friend while others are resting you are working hard towards your aws goal now if this video helped you then there are many more important question in devops or like the infrastructure as code sqs ns sns lambda function cloud front which are asked in aws interviews all i have explained in my complete aws interview boot camp many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews now if you don't want to miss a single question for your next interview then check out the boot camp and book link in the description below